What's happening, everybody? So you thought you'd get away with maybe a day, because it's late in the day. You probably figured, please, dear God, not that guy again. Tell him about what's going on. But luckily, I only have two more restaurants. And then, you, then I don't know what else I'm going to talk about. But I'll tell you about what's going on at Trotto tonight. So you guys come along right now. OK, check this out. So when you come up, if we're at a, a town and country shopping center. It's uh, you don't gotta spin around. It looks like every other shopping center that you've ever been to. There's not that much special about it. But what is special, we're gonna show you now. So check it out. So here you go, this is a sign, handcrafted by our team here, the Trito. As you can see, Pizza Bianco, this is our other location, we got two. Um, that's over there. You know what that does, no problem. Trito, a little jewel box of a restaurant that I think you would super dig. And uh, we moved everything. This was a patio where people would sit outside. We used to be able to do that. Now it's a takeout window. So you guys will come up, come on up. You put your order in, or this would be your, uh, who we have? Grub, it's Grubhub now, right? Mm -hmm. Grubhub or go Grubhub. Postmates Postmate. or just Grubhub? Just Grubhub right now. Just Grubhub right now? I, I don't know. I'm the last to know. <laughs> but if you go on there, it'll tell you. Or you can call and we'll pick it up. There's a door, what's the window? It's usually a table here, it's a super groovy table. People dig it. But now you'll come and you'll get your order. You don't have to talk to anybody. Well, you can talk, but God forbid, don't touch anybody. And uh, they'll have the order here. We have a mate, our wine list is all available, anything you want. It's at great prices right now, because we're looking out for you and we can all use a drink. Um, uh, so the wine list is ridiculous. We'll take you inside. There's a patio and stuff over there. You can give them a little. It looks better when it's set up. Now it's like, you know. Uh, okay, come on. Let's go. Let's do it. We're going to go in this door, which is, uh, we call this the other door. The front door is over there. Okay, so here we go. This is, um, I'll tell you a little bit about the space here, what we do normally. I won't go too long because, oh, you know why. I mean, who am I kidding? Uh, so, this little, like sometimes people say it's hard to get in. Well, it's hard to get in mostly, yes, it's delicious, but it's also a tiny little space. And, um, and uh, it's, it's really special, but it's really small. Um, but what's cool about tonight, which Blaze at? Blaze, come here, man. Let's talk. This is Blaze. So Blaze, Blaze is a cocktail whiz, wine guru for us, manager, Handsome, debonair, what else? Well, tell them a little bit what we're gonna do tonight. Those little groovy. So tonight we got single serving, servings for two, and then serving up to uh, six servings in a wine bottle. Uh, our house old fashioned, our house white negroni, and our house martini to be served at home. And then little, you got them in little jars. So, so yeah, we're in jars on the on the first two sizes, and then a full wine bottle for the big size. I mean, keep it on. in your refrigerator, ready to serve, good for forever. So. They can initially like get one and like say they want to bring it to a friend and just say like I'm gonna call you, knock on your door like kind of like a, you know like not down and dash or whatever they call but knock on the door you leave them a few cocktails and then you text them when you get home and say did you get that cocktail and maybe they will so cocktails wine list and then um, did I bring that I got the menu here so I'll show you and I'm gonna go see Cassie over here hey Cass. This Cassie now, she's super busy. I don't want to embarrass Cassie, because she's all busy. You know, she's super sweet, funny, but right now she's a game face on, because as we know, we're busy. Right after this, I'm gonna go down to Pane and make 18-inch pizzas, and we have that just there, and that's another story. But um, tonight, we made something really special. Well, the menu's online, we can zoom in there. But it's all kinds of, uh, like, you know, there's actually, you know, pasta dishes and also, some pasta dishes you can assemble yourself, our delicious uh, two us ranch chicken, and all your favorites, the ones kids and adults love as much. But we, we can look at that later. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, man, I, I, like I said, I don't even know what to do. We're trying to hold it all together, put as many acorns in the, in the nest. Um, uh, before, maybe we have to shut down all the way. We're trying to, uh, um, yeah, do the best for our community and for our team. Um, uh, in all seriousness, like, like I said, there's nothing, uh, you know, we're not kids at South Beach who don't care about 
what's going on in the world. You know, we're a combination of trying to be as diligent as we can. We laid a lot of people off. Um, the people are here are rotating in shorter shifts, and we're here to serve and take care of you. So, um, hopefully, you see the the honor in that, or at least the good intention. Um, uh, with that, I'll show you. Um, I'll show you around a little bit. There's not much to see. You see most of it. If we look up there, check it out there. It's a nice story. Um, so my dad, who's 93 now, 92, is a great painter. And all those paintings up there, these all seasonal produce. And their house is, uh, they live in Phoenix now. And every, like, couple weeks or different seasons, I bring them, let's just say, maybe maybe a, a flat of figs. And they paint the figs, maybe my mother makes a nice fig tart. Or maybe it's peach season for Queen Creek. Hence, you paint some peaches. My mom would make maybe a nice peach cristada. You get the picture. That's how it goes down here. You grow it, you kill it sustainably and honorably, and we'll cook it and not try to fuck it up. Um, okay, we're going to go over here, see the rest of our luxurious stuff. This is the window. When you, when you come up, this is what you're going to see. It's fantastic. I mean, it's fantastic. The view's not that great, but the people in the view are just beautiful as you can imagine. Um, we have bread, some bread for sale as well. Um, that comes from Pane, my brother Marco and our team there. Makes it, brings it up, we wrap it for you, it's beautiful. Um, and the last little part is here in this corner, and, um, and that's the whole restaurant. That's a cool painting my dad did. Um, it's a longer story, but basically, when we opened this restaurant about four years ago, um, I wanted him to paint a chair. And I wanted him to paint a chair because I was looking for a symbol of hospitality. And, uh, you know, we've been very blessed over the years at the pizzeria. People come up to me sometimes when I was, in, you know, in a leisurely, say I have a nice, nice Adidas sweatsuit on or something like that. And I'm out and I say, you know what? I couldn't get a seat in your place. I couldn't get in. And, uh, and I used to tell him, like, you have no idea how bad I wanted to take your money. I needed it. I, I, it gave me all the stress that I couldn't give you a seat. So there you go. I want everybody always, that's your seat. When you come, there's always a seat for you. And uh, I'll edit that story, but that's the truth. But uh, hey, Cassie, Cass, wave to everybody. She's awesome. Cassie, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a little bit about Cassie. She don't like me to brag about her, but um, you know, she's, uh, she's someone I know since she was four years old. Her dad, um, a dear friend of mine, is a great chef, Mike Chotino. He's in now North Carolina. She used to come to the restaurant as a little kid, and she'd stand on the chair, you know, and she'd order a Bianco Verde with prosciutto, and she'd pull the prosciutto like this, and she would eat it and smile like the, like she was just, you know, an assassin, and a good, a good assassin. But she had something going on, and years later, here we are, and she's running this restaurant with our team, with Blaze, with the rest of them, with everybody, and um, anyway, anyway, these little stories, um, I guess I'm just telling you because as stupid as they are, and as bad as they are, and as bad as my English is, and oh, last thing, I realize after doing three of these now, how many times I say, um, and I don't have anything to say, obviously I don't write it down, and B, unfortunately this is how I normally talk, but we do so much appreciate everything you guys have been doing for us. We'll keep doing everything for you that we can possibly. And uh, we love you. We're grateful. We'll see you. Um, see you never soon enough. We love you. Peace.